what if there's a professional course in which you can start earning before even completing it sounds interesting right actuarial science is a profession where it is possible to start working for an actuarial job before even becoming a qualified actuary but do you know the same interesting thing about this career makes the actuarial journey quite difficult because when you're working for a 9 hour job from monday to friday all you get are the weekends to study but then there are numerous things already pending for the weekend so how do you take time out to study hey aspiring actuaries welcome to my channel the actuarial quest I am Anchal, your actuarial mentor and in today's video, I am going to share how I prioritized my actuarial studies alongside job and other important things. First thing that creates a difference between someone who is able to find time for studies and someone who is not is their priority. It all boils down to the question of what their priorities are and how much motivated they are towards their goal of becoming an actuary. I was able to find time for studies because I was 100% motivated towards qualifying as soon as possible. So if you're not able to take time out for studies, then you might try finding some motivation. Maybe you can think about the salary hike that you'll get after clearing the exams or the happiness or relief you'll feel after qualifying or think about what all you can do after qualifying or any other thing that keeps you motivated. One thing that you may do is discuss your goals with your family so that they also support you with your studies. When I used to study at my home, everyone supported me because they knew how important it was for me to clear those exams. And in this way, my focus was completely on my exam preparations. Next thing that you can do is define your work hours and study hours and whatever time you have assigned for a particular task, try to complete that task within that time only and with complete focus. I think you'll agree when I say this, one particular topic can be studied in one hour if you are completely effective and focused. And the same topic can be studied in five hours too, if you are slouchy and you don't have a target. According to me, you are most productive when you define your targets and timelines. I know it is difficult to be focused all the time, and human mind is designed to have an attention span of just few seconds. And while I am giving you tips on work and study management, I also procrastinate a lot. But the most that we can do is to try our best. So if you're planning to start studying, I would say to start with a plan and defined timelines. It's okay to fall behind the targets once in a while, but it is sure shot that your productivity will increase if you keep an eye on your schedule. Time is limited and you cannot do everything. Certain things that give you short-lived happiness like sleeping a few hours extra or watching the latest series or going out, you will have to sacrifice. And during the time saved from these activities, you will have to lock yourself in a room, say goodbye to your friends and cell phone and work mm -hmm. upon dedicatedly towards your long-term goal that will give you and your family the real happiness. If you're living with your parents, then trust me, you are very lucky because most of the tasks your parents will happily take up for you. All you need to focus on is your job and your studies. But if you have moved to another city for your job, then you are in the same situation as mine. I know it is difficult to manage your studies when you have hundreds of other things to do. But if I could do this, you can too. Just need to apply the three techniques, prioritize, plan and cut. Also, there are certain things that should not be cut and if you're not doing them, then I would recommend you to add in your daily schedule, which is some form of exercise like yoga or workout, or meditations or chants or going for a walk, whatever it is that keeps you focused, energized and motivated during the day. Those were the three quick tips that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to keep today's video brief. If you have any other tip for managing study and work together and you would like to share with others, then you're most welcome. You can add in the comments and I will pin the most useful tip so that others can also follow. For more such videos on study tips and insights on the actuarial profession, please subscribe to this channel. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.